Hi, it's Roz Green here with HowToBlog101.com and I'm really excited to share with you some information about the software that I use for getting my blog posts and my articles to the top of Google a lot easier than it used to be and it's using a software that helps me with my online SEO. Now the great thing about this product is that you don't have to be techie, you don't have to know anything really about how to write your articles using the proper SEO, you will learn as you use this tool, but you don't have to know all of these things when you get started. That's one of the great benefits of it and one of the reasons that I endorse it so highly because I know that there are a lot of people who are interested in in blogging and getting their websites out there, but they have no clue of how SEO works and, and how to really do what it takes to get your content to the top of Google. So that's one of the things I really love about this product. The product is called SEO Presser and my my whole purpose for doing this video is to just give you an idea of how this works. Now what I'm hoping at least is that you do have a little bit of an understanding about choosing the proper keywords for the articles and the blog posts that you're writing because it does work specifically based on the keywords that you select. The purpose of this is not to show you how to do keyword research. You can find that elsewhere on the site or you can Google it or find it in the membership area. But the purpose of this, as I said, is just to show you the benefit of using the software called SEO Presser. So what I'm going to do is actually go over to my blog dashboard and I'm going to pull up an article that I just pasted to create a new blog post. So let me go ahead and go to posts. And this is, actually it's right here. Now I will tell you that this is actually not a post that I'm going to be putting on my blog, but it's one that I wanted to use for example sake so that you can see exactly how this amazing tool works. So what I did was I went ahead and prepared the article and simply pasted it right into my WordPress blog. Now, right here where it says SEO Presser Score, okay? If you look there, you'll see that right beneath that, my score is currently 12.22%. Now, what I'm striving for is 100%. Okay, so I'm going to be doing things to this this article that I've already written to make sure that I get my content up to 100%. When it's at 100%, then it's going to be a lot easier for it to rank in Google. The, the spiders, when they start to crawl my document, they're going to find that this is very relevant to what is being searched for. So let's just get started on how this whole process works. Now that I've got the article pasted in, you'll see right here, it says SEO Presser Keyword. The keyword that I'm using, for again, just for demonstration's sake, is blogging your product, okay? Based on blogging your product, what this is telling me is that this article is not at all optimized for those keywords. Therefore, it's not going to rank in the search engines because it's not relevant to the keywords that I'm choosing to use. So I have not added any of this information. All I've done was put in the actual article that I wrote and now what we're going to see is how this software is going to help me get this ranked. Now let's start at the very beginning. Hopefully you've got TinyMCE installed in your plugins and that's simply the plugin that helps you do your editing when you are in WordPress. If you are not familiar with how to install these plugins or where to get it, it is one of the videos that is included in my How to Blog 101. So make sure that you grab that up and just go through it and it'll show you exactly how to find the, this plugin. So let's start. Right here at the top of the list, it says you do not have H1 tag containing your keyword. What that tells me is within this entire article, based on the keyword, blocking your product, I don't have an H1 tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first headline and it says right now how to make money product blogging. Remember, I chose blogging your product. So what I'm going to do first is change this. Well, let's first make it a header one tag. And look at how simple this is with WordPress. All I have to do is click here, select heading one, and it's already a heading one. However, it still does not contain blogging your product. So now I'm going to change that, how to make money 
blogging your product. Okay. Now notice again, remember this number right here, 12.22%, right? The next thing it's telling me is that I don't have a header to tag containing my keyword. So I'm going to go down a little bit and find something. Um, okay, here's something that's already bolded. I've already got that here in my H1 header tag. So what I'm going to do is go down here and I'm going to change the wording a little bit. Instead of saying the same thing again, right now it says how to make money by product blogging. Remember, my keyword is blogging your product. So I'm just going to change this to blogging your product will help you make more money. Excuse my typos there. So. If you'll notice what I've done, I've simply added the keyword blogging your product right here. Now what I'm going to do is highlight this and make this a heading two. Okay, now you notice I've got a heading one with my keyword. I've got a heading two with my keyword. Now it's telling me I need a heading three with my keyword. So let's look down and see, let's see, instant, there's headings all the way through the way this has been written. So what I'm going to do, every instance where this is bolded, just for uniformity's sake, I'm going to make that a heading three so that aesthetically it looks nice to the eye. And all I'm doing is selecting all of the headings that were bolded and I'm changing them to heading three. And you're wondering what the, what does this have to do with uh, what they're telling me over here that I don't have a heading three tag. Well, you'll see in just a moment. Okay, so I've made all of my headers heading three. So I'm going to just take one of them. I don't have to have every instance. It's only telling me that I need to have at least one heading three tag. So I'm going to choose this one, Affiliate Promotion Opportunities. Um, are great for blogging your product. Now, again, you guys, I'm just doing this on the fly, so I would probably word these a lot differently. I'm just doing it for example's sake, so you can just see, again, how the software works. So now it's told me that I've included that. So now it's telling me, next, I don't have enough keywords to bold and italicize. The awesome thing about this software is that when you have enough keywords in your article, it will automatically add decorations, decorations like bolding, decorations like italics, it will automatically add them. But what it's telling me is that I don't really have enough keywords for it to even go through and bold and italicize. So what I'm going to do is just go through the article and look at some places where I can include blogging your product. And I'm just going to do two, and then I'll pause it for just a second. And then when we come back, you'll see that I will have added more. So let's just see what I can do. I'm going to read through this. Okay, right here it says product blogging is creating a blog around the usage. So I'm just going to say blogging your product. There's one instance. So let's go through and find another. When you start a product blog. So I'm going to say when you start blogging your product, okay, you can get a, a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to pause just for one second and I'm going to go through and find more instances. Okay, I'm back and I have probably changed about seven or eight instances where I've changed the words from something else to blogging your product. So let's do this very quickly. Right now, I want you to take a look over here. And what you see is that the score is 12.22%. Based on just what I've already shown you, I'm going to save the draft. And let's see what difference has been made. First of all, I have included blogging your product here so that SEO Presser knows what keyword I'm going after. So let's save the draft and let's see what happens. 
Okay, just from those few things that it's told me to do, it has jumped from 12% to 66%. Because these things that now have a green check mark are the things that I have done to help optimize my blog post. So there's a couple of more things that I can do here. It's telling me that I don't have an image for SEO Presser to add. So I'm simply going to go here and I'm going to just pick something from my library very quickly. As a matter of fact, let's just browse my computer. And let's find SEO Presser. It's right here. We're going to upload that. So I'm going to go ahead and use it as a featured image and also insert it into my post. And now that's done. And the last thing is it's saying is I don't have an internal link to my other pages. So while we're here, I'm just going to select a link. What questions do you have about blogging your product? What I'm going to do is simply highlight that. I'm going to go to my links. And I'm going to find a page that says Ask Roz. Of course, that's just a page that people can ask questions. And I'm simply going to, again, for demonstration purposes, just simply add a link so we can see what will happen now to my score. So now let's save my draft again. And let's see what happens from 66.67. Where is it going to go? Now I'm up to 70%. I'm going to change my title to blogging your product. And I'm going to change my permalink to blogging your product. Some of these things, you'll if you're not familiar with how to do them, again, make sure that you've picked up my training course on how to set up your blog, and all of these things are included there. Now that I've got those things in place, I've got my tag there, I've got a basic category. Uh, I'm going to make this business blogging instead of basic, and let's do our draft again. And now you can see it has jumped up to 84.44%. Now, let me see. This is still saying that I don't have an alt tag set to my keyword. Let me go in and see what I didn't do. Oh, here we go. My alternate te text here says SEO presser, not blogging your product. So, see what I mean when, you, when I say you don't have to be a pro, we all make mistakes. Blogging your product, update that. While I'm here, one thing I will say also is that I like a keyword density at least at 2%. Keep it between 2 and 3% and you're safe, but I never want to bring it under 2%. So what this means is I need to find a few more instances where I can add the keyword blogging your, pro your products. What I'm going to do is search for a few more places. I'm going to pause this and um, come right back to it. But what I want you to notice is right now the score is 84.44%. The keyword density is 1.54%. So let me pause it, go find some more places to add my keyword, and I will be right back. Okay, we are back and I've added probably about four more instances of the keyword blogging your product. Again, notice right now I haven't I haven't clicked the save draft button because I want you to see how it's going to change just by making those corrections. So we've got 84.44% on our score, we've got 1.54 in our keyword density. So we're going to save the draft. And let's see what comes up now. Look at that, you guys. I'm between 2 and 3% in my keyword density, 
and my SEO score is now 94.44%. Now I can tell you if every article that you write, you are up between 90 and 100% in your SEO score for the search engines, you're going to find that your content is constantly going to be getting to the top of the search engine. So now that you see how this product works, go ahead and continue reading in the article to find out a little bit more information if you choose, or just go down to the bottom and click and get your copy today because I can guarantee you with this tool, you will see a definite difference in how your articles and in how your blog is ranking. In